Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so hmm. I guess uh, during the night, uh, I know we're both facing difficulties with uh, circulation, I think, with our hands. Yeah, so my left thumb and finger are getting really numb. Um, it's a f feeling I've not been able to sort of shake away for yeah. most probably the better part of now three days. Yeah. Um, which isn't good. I think mm. it's down to the fact that I need a proper night's sleep. Yeah. In a proper bed where I'm not, you know, laying down. Um, yeah. On a slight. Because because we're on a slope. Yeah. Uh, when our hands, obviously, when you, when we sleep, if your hands are above your heart, it makes it more difficult for kind of our blood to kind of go around. And we kind of we keep waking up with like really numb hands. Yeah. You know, it's our feet which are outside. Well, our feet are closest to uh, the cold outside. But it's not down to really temperature. It's, it seems to be more about circulation because you know our hands are often above our head when we sleep. Yeah. Uh, you know, if your hand, you know, over your head, over your heart, essentially. So that's kind of like coming down to I guess not having enough food inside us and lack of energy. Yeah. How's your energy levels? So my energy levels aren't too bad. Mm. Okay. Um, they've been pretty steady all week. Um, sometimes I do experience. Um, little dips in energy but you know we're yeah. really at the end now so yeah you know that's what's motivating me now is to get out get yeah food yeah we might have been shot for a while as you know yeah. uh just in case of just having so little body fat left to do uh have never been down to this level of body fat since uh maybe at one point two in uni when i was kind of cutting down to get in shape and that probably wasn't even this low mm. uh but yeah definitely having troubles having any kind of energy because i've got no kind of reserves to uh kind of work from now yeah. it's kind of making it tough uh the blackouts are still so you're uh, an issue yeah. Bad from the blackouts, right? yeah like it's not every time i stand up but you know it'll happen sometimes how, how about yours uh no i've mine seem to the only time they do seem to happen is when i don't have any water so first yeah. thing in the morning once i've got water inside me then i'm all right yeah okay well uh we're coming up to our mm. final day tomorrow so we're on day 17 now yeah you know, um Day 18 tomorrow, we've got sort of a big, big decision because, you know, obviously we've got that big trek that we keep keep talking about. Yeah. You know, it is a pretty big trek. And you we've know. kind of got bags to carry and we've bags. kind of deliberated. So we don't know whether, whether, you know, we do half today. Yeah. And we set off in a minute or we do the whole thing tomorrow. Yeah. I've I been mean, thinking, I know we, we've been like, at one point we did say maybe do it in two days and then we kind of came to the decision to uh, do it in. Uh, one day, just so we've got a good shelter. Uh, but personally, with my energy levels, I feel like doing a whole trek in one day would be too much for me. Uh, being able to carry stuff and being able to keep moving, you know, is going to be, you know, it's going to put me on the verge of passing out yeah. quite easily, especially on the train that we have to walk. Yeah, so yeah, literally, yeah, uh, personally, my energy levels, I don't think I could take it, especially on like, the train, which we have to walk on, uh, and the movement that we've got to do, and we'd have to make sure we do it before the midday sun comes in. Yeah. Uh, personally, I know there's advantages to kind of being here. We can get to our first shelter. Yeah. Uh, it's a terrible shelter. It's going to be completely dead, mm -hmm. and it was the last time we s last night we spent in it. It was absolutely horrible. We were soaked and miserable yeah. inside there. But uh, personally, I think I could take a really, really bad night yeah. over one day full of complete trekking. What yeah. about you? Like, what, what are your thoughts? I know that you, you wanted to do it in I one day. I wanted to stay here. Um, the shelter is a lot better here. Better night's sleep would give us more energy to trek out. But, mm. you know, the, the pro is if you go into the other one, we, we will get out earlier. Yeah. Um, be nice um and obviously we've got to think about your health um you know your yeah. energy levels we don't want you passing out now yeah um, and so At this i'm point happy to yeah. do it now because i've got i've got the energy to do both so you know whatever yeah so if you, you can set out soon for yeah. yourself yeah then I will, I will follow yeah i think a lot of it the sooner we kind of get out uh, able to do stuff and just uh at the moment we are kind of a bit inactive because we know that tomorrow's our final day, tomorrow's the day that we leave. Yeah. And we're not really doing too much because we know that it's the end, essentially. You know, we know, yeah. you know, we, we already completed our whole task. 
at the two week mark and we've, we've split into 18 days and I think we've done amazing to do that yeah, for man. two people who you know haven't got a shelter before I've never got a shelter, shelter you've never got a shelter no. uh, it's been a wet conditions you know it's Horrible been conditions. yeah very different conditions like n- neither of us have ever hunted an animal yeah. or anything like that uh, yeah. and we kind of just come out and we've done well so yeah I f- feel like doing yeah. uh, two days it's been a success man yeah Quite it's been well. a massive success mate smash that man yeah Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, just, um, uh, yeah, I think, the bugs. Yeah. The bugs are one of the worst away. parts, aren't they? Yeah, the bugs. Yeah, the stuff. bugs are, you know, because we, we scratch, we get bitten, we scratch the scabs, and then we scratch the scabs because it still itches, and they're still biting around that same area. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, we've kind of, uh, we've, we've completed our aims. Yeah. I think we're kind of ready to uh, make I a move. I we're ready to leave. We're in the final yeah. stretch now. You know, let's let's get out of here. Let it, if it means we do it over two days, we will do it over two days. Yeah. But you know, it's t- it's time to go. You know, I yeah. think both our bodies are saying that, both yeah. our minds are saying that, and I think, you know, the quicker we plough on, yeah, get out of here. Exactly. There's no. Can, yeah. We can rest and eat. Yeah. There's uh, n- nothing left to achieve really now. No. We've kind of done what we need to do. No. Exactly. Sweet. So, James. Just goodbye to our lovely shelter. Uh, at times, it kept us dry. At times, it kept us very wet. It left us quite cold quite often. But it's our shelter, and it needed a lot of work to do. It was tight and cramped. But uh, it worked for us. It worked for us in the end. It's done a purpose, hasn't it? Yeah. It's done what it needed to do. It's got us to uh, day 17. We're going to move on and we, we get to day 18 tomorrow. Yep. So Let's make a move. Thank you, Shota. Au revoir. You know. Auf Wiedersehen. And finally, what would we rate, what would we rate it? Out of, um, out of 10 for Triple Out Gaza? of 10. I'm giving, it, I'm giving it a solid 11. 11, man. 11 out of 10. All the way. Spinal tap the whole way. But au revoir. Salut. You're not keeping filming? Can you keep top. filming just to get to the top? And then that'll be it. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. No way. So where more trees have fallen down than I previously knew had. Nice little steep hill. And I've slid down this one before.
odd feet in. Luckily it's not too wet at the moment. Yeah, if you want to stop filming, you can. Yeah, if it hurts, like, most uncomfortable. Yeah. As you can see. There's literally holes everywhere in this shelter. All right, so uh, we just kind of got into our first shelter uh, that we have had set up for a long, long time. Uh, this one has been kind of in bad shape, extremely bad shape at the moment. Uh, all the leaves are dead, so it's pretty kind of uh, haggard. Uh, it's been lightning for quite a while now, for the past maybe two hours maybe. Uh, so we're just going to stay in here. It's been raining down a bit, but it's not going to dampen our spirits because essentially it doesn't change the fact that we are going to be eating some big meals tomorrow. Yeah, man. Really looking forward to that, man. Really looking forward to eating the meals, get, getting the calories in. Um, you know, just got to see out the last remaining hours of this journey, to be fair. Uh, and then 